first thing I did here with my school bus is I, as you can well see, I added headlights uh, by by drilling out uh, the front of the bus. Okay, drilling out the front of the bus, used uh, my super jet to glue them in first. Then I used uh, epoxy that uh, I put across here to keep any light from that uh, LED from shining down underneath the bus. Then <clears throat> what I did was I drilled out on the bus, I drilled out the, I gotta get these wires out of the road, the, the, the lights at the top, the two reds and the two yellows on the back and on the front. Added a couple of kids, added a bus driver, and uh, I then ran all my wiring back across the roof so I can kind of try and hide the wires down underneath the bus. So this will come down the side of the bus, uh, and then I will hide all that so that nobody sees it. When I put everything back together again, here, I'll put the doors back in, and uh, so I'll show you what everything looks like right after I get everything put back in. A couple of years ago, I was lucky enough to be able to discover uh, that uh, there's a company called Dubro, and they make all kinds of uh, linkages and uh, control line hookups for um, the radio control airplane hobby. And... Uh, so what I did was I threw my distributor that we buy from through the Choo Choo Barn. I bought a card of each of what they had and uh, put them in this little plastic case. And I use these items now quite a bit, uh, especially these little things called Easy Connectors. They're very nice for uh, for, for what I do in, in with animation. And uh, I am able to use a couple of these pieces here. I also found through uh, one of my uh, electronic distributors, they had hardware. And the hardware I'm talking about are little right angle mounting pieces uh, that I use all the time. They had different sizes. Um, and so I bought a, a sampling of everything they had. And I've been using them on animations for 10 years or so. So what I would need, what I'm going to need to, for the front <coughs> is right across the front of the school bus here. There's always a bar, and then when I when the uh, school bus comes to a stop, I want that bar to come out. Okay, I just it just has to come out one a 90 degree arc right here from here to here, and the way I'm going to do that is this is actually a, a Dubro con, a steering control arm. And it's already got holes drilled in it. This is a 5 8th or 5 32nd inch hole here. So what I did was I first cut some 5 32nd brass piece, put it in my little uh, Unimat lathe. And you can, if you don't have one, you can always buy one on eBay, I'm sure. I can't imagine anybody doesn't have hobby lathes for sale used. I was able to buy one from a, from a gentleman who upgraded and uh, didn't pay much for it. And I've used it. I even used it uh, a number of years ago to make little baseball bats. Um, anyway, I, I line board a 1 16th inch hole down through uh, this piece of brass. And from that, what will happen is the, uh, the, uh, uh, the piece that gets put down into that uh, hole will be actually the arm that comes up out from underneath the layout that the bar across here is going to be fastened to. Now, I ended up taking my little court, my little uh, right angles, and I fabricated a piece that was ended up being like a Z. Used some Dubro collars. One I soldered onto here. <laughs> that is my pivot. Used one at the bottom. Used the, con the steering control at the top. And if I turn this, as you can see what will happen is it will turn this piece of brass, therefore this piece of brass here, therefore my little gate, my little arm that's going to stick out in front here of the school bus. All right, while I made one, I figured I might as well make a couple of them because uh, I've used them actually a couple of places on the layout already, so I already knew how to make those. Um, 
Then what I had to do is I had to sit down and, and decide exactly how this all was going to work out. And uh, sat down, used my geometry again, and figured out that uh, uh, to, to make this all work, this is what I needed to do. Um, what I decided to do is use a, a Circuitron Tortoise slow motion uh, switch machine. And the way these work is if you give them positive, negative one way and hold it, this little arm goes one way. If you reverse that polarity, the arm is going to come back and it'll hold that way. And it, uh, it will work real nice, nice and slow. And what I ended up doing is putting a, a little extension. I don't know if you can see my little extension here. Use some more of the, uh, the Dubro pieces here. There's a, du there's a ball link piece of threaded rod and then that gets hooked up over here henceforth through the layout this will get all screwed to the bottom of the layout my little uh, it's 1 16th inch piece of brass rod over here with the arm going across this will get brought up under the layout this will be put right here in front of the school bus and it's going to work now I also then said, I, I you know, sat down and said, okay, now to make this all work automatically, what do I got to do? So I sat down, I made up a schematic diagram, electronic schematic diagram using a couple of relays and uh, one of my little flasher units, uh, some relays here, uh, the, and put everything on the board. So all I got to do is hook up some wires here, give me some power, hook up my LEDs over here so that when the school bus is sitting it's just doing nothing all of a sudden the yellow lights will flash will be which are the two inside ones then the red lights flash the yellow ones go off and as the red lights start to flash the bar comes out and that's how exactly how a school bus actually works then after the kids finally get on the bus the bar start comes back when the bar comes back then the red lights will go off and it'll sit and wait for a little while I found a really slow slow rpm motor to run all this and uh, that's what my next thing is now is to get that little drum my little drum working and uh, I'll show you how that works out okay here's the school bus uh, you're gonna have to excuse all the wires that are down in here um, obviously they're going to go down through the display down underneath to all the electronics that are actually on a board that is uh, down right now I have it actually down here it's actually clamped down below here and hooked to that is my little bar that goes across the front of the bus um, <clears throat> on here on the left side which will also be uh, under the display is my little what I want to call my drum unit which works on the same principle as the fire scene at the choo choo barn with uh, these, this is rotating and it's going to hit these little micro, these little micro switches. So it's coming up here very soon. So I want you to see what's going to happen. There you can see the yellow light start to light. And shortly thereafter, the red light start to flash. And the bar goes across in front. Then everything stops. Bar goes back, red light shut off. And again, it's all because of my little drum unit over here. <clears throat> I actually laid in bed last night when I got in bed and I thought to myself, how can I do this without the drum unit? And I think I could have done it with a couple of, t of my little uh, Ultronic timers. Uh, and maybe I will change that at some point in time. So I'm using timers instead of the little drum unit with the motor. Uh, <clears throat> but for now, I'm going to use the little drum unit because it works. Next time you see it, it's going to be on the layout.